Chroming, a new term for huffing, is on the rise among young people, and experts say it's becoming a trend because of social media platforms like TikTok. The dangerous practice is a way of getting high by inhaling fumes from various legal products. That includes nail polish, gas, paint, and aerosols. Experts say the number of Americans between the ages of 12 and 17 using inhalants declined in 2022, but began rising again in 2023. They warn long-term use can cause serious problems like brain damage and addiction issues. Joining me now is Dr. Anthony Paisan, Professor of Emergency Medicine and Chief of the Division of Medical Toxicology at the University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine. Doctor, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. How concerning is chroming and why? any indicators why it's on the rise again? No, it's unclear, but social media, as you know, has a big impact on children these days. So once it gets into the social media platforms, kids become aware of this and it becomes, you know, topics that are easy for access to them. And I, I mean, I, I don't think it's hard to uh, understand why it's dangerous, but just how dangerous is it, especially for children? Yeah, I mean, these products are readily available. Um, they're seeking an inebriation or a high, but they can have long-term ramifications or even acute ramifications causing cardiac arrest or suffocation. So um, death and permanent injury are certainly a concern in these children. And what should people be looking for, parents especially, uh, if they're concerned that maybe their kids are chroming? Or, I mean, I remember it as huffing in the in the 70s and 80s. Yeah, exactly. We used to call it huffing. Um, still the, the same concept, just different term. You know, parents just need to be involved with their children's activities. Um, take notice of these chemicals that they may be storing or hoarding in their room. Um, and just take note that if you have these substances around your home to dispose of them when you no longer need them. And what about symptoms if, you're, if you think your child may be huffing? You know, if they're acutely huffing, um, they'll really look like they're inebriated or intoxicated, like from alcohol. Um, Long-term issues could result in lack of interest in particular activities. Um, uh, the, and, and those kinds of things may may make you recognize that they're doing things that uh, are a little sinister. I, I mean, could it, could it bring about a personality change then? You know, not me, so much the personality change, but at least a, a difference in terms of how they behave. I guess you can interpret that as a personality change. Grades are, are suffering or um, spending more time in the room. I know my teenagers spend a lot of time in their bedrooms, but uh, you know, if it if there's an abrupt change in their behavior or activity, parents should take note. Okay, and this can lead to brain damage. Absolutely. Uh, and, and how severe are we talking? I mean, and how quick can that start to, uh, happening? Well, obviously, the, the more they use and the longer they use it, the, the longer, the, the more concern. But even acute cases can lead to permanent damage, particularly if these kids are using large amounts in an acute setting. So the sooner you can engage your children and get them to stop, the better. And is there any one that's more dangerous? I mean, they're all dangerous, but any one that's more dangerous than the others? Yeah, that, that's a good question. Um, you know, some of the automotive products are probably a little bit more potent in terms of the amount of hydrocarbons that are in there, such as, you know, metallic paints and carburetor cleaners and gasoline. Um, those would, would probably lead to a, a larger concern in my mind. Okay, doctor, thank you for uh, sharing your expertise on this. We appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure. Dr. Anthony Paisan is a professor of emergency medicine and chief of the Division of Medical Toxicology at the University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine.